Welcome to PULS latest technology development. We are now facing the convergence of a sensor and a power supply in one device. How does it look like? So right now in the industrial automation domain, we have the field level with sensors, actuators and power supplies. In addition to that, in the next level in the pyramid, we have the industrial Ethernet-based communication protocols such as Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus or even EtherCAT. And last but not least, in the final stage of the automation pyramid, we have OPC UA and the integration into higher software layers. So Pulse decided to see the power supply in future as a sensor element. So we're down in the field level where IO-Link and ASI are pretty common these days. Our power supply, the QT40241 minus B2, is pretty unique because it combines the best of two worlds. The best of the power supply world, a bonus power of 50% extended to 5 seconds, an efficiency with more than 95% and a lifetime of over 15 years. It is the most reliable solution out there in the market. And we topped this very great offering of a basic power supply with the best of the communication world on the field level and this is IO-Link. So we are offering IO-Link with an integrated EEPROM, transmission speed up to COM3 and IO-Link standard 1.1. And the product comes with a built-in EEPROM as non volatile memory. So in case of power cuts, data is stored safely and can be accessed later um, for review of root cause mistakes. But why did we pick IO-Link? We have chosen IO-Link amongst all other standards because it is very easy to install. There is no additional equipment needed. The usability is plug and operant, as simple as that. There is no special setup required. It is a very reliable connection due to IC611319. And last but not least, it is easy to integrate in any kind of higher industrial Ethernet based protocols. In summary, it is easy to install, plug and play, it is reliable and easy to integrate. So the data deriving from the power supply as a sensor is very structured into three categories. The first category is the acyclic data containing device information such as manufacturer name, product name, serial numbers, hardware and firmware revision, device status, device uptime, total operating hours, remaining lifetime, airflow temperature, transient counter on the input, input and output voltage, as well as the load level. The second category are the cyclical process data. Here we provide the output current as a process data. And last but not least, we have events as a third category. Events are triggered by special happenings such as DC warning, bonus power, overload, temperature too high, input voltage too high or too low, power supply failure and maintenance required. In addition, we offer two remote functions. A. Switch on and off the output and B. Adjust output voltage. To prevent misuse, there is a built-in hardware limiter which will limit unauthorized adjustment of the output voltage. All three types of data um, is supplied through IO-Link into the higher industrial automation pyramid. The user benefits are increase overall system availability, reduce system downtime, predictive maintenance of the power supply itself, but also the predictive maintenance of any connected load with machine learning algorithms. Improve overall machine efficiency by transparency. And last but not least, it is enabling remote service functions. So this is the basic offering, but nevertheless, 
we help to improve um, overall machine efficiency and to improve the service. It's much easier to service remote or on-site a connected power supply because you will have access to all the stored data. So in summary, these are your main benefits. An easy installation, time and cost savings, and significant customer service improvements. So this is a very rough overview on Pulse QT40241 minus B2 for IOLink. Thank you very much for watching. We're looking forward to answer your questions. Please feel free to contact your Pulse sales team wherever you want to contact us. Thank you very much.